Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we are watching Season 1, Episode 13 of Demon Slayer. I'm excited. Uh, yes. Okay. Last episode was so good. I know. I know it was a <laughs> cliffhanger and it's going to be an amazing moment in episode. But Zenitsu's thunder breathing technique was, was so amazing. cool. And then he was sleeping. Sleep it fighting. was... We were shocked we were amazed we fell in love it was a very blessed episode it was it was top tier it was an amazing episode yeah um <laughs> ex kizuki is who we're yes, fighting against lower six it... he was demoted and his eye was slashed by muzan because seemingly he lost the desire to keep killing at the rate that he should have been um so he's trying to reclaim his spot and so he found a boy with rare blood the older brother a to Marechi. the a Marechi, the older brother to the two siblings that were outside the mansion and now two of the siblings have been reunited one is with zenitsu in good hands and Boarhead is running around, <laughs> and Tanjiro is has now left the older brother and the younger sister safe, and he made sure to tell them, I will call your names if I am the person outside the door and you will know it's me, and otherwise, just keep banging that drum. <laughs> oh, and that drum fell off of the demon Kyogai. I believe so. And yeah, during an attack by one of the other demons in the house that is now dead. True. And that is the summary. <laughs> <laughs> anything to add? Did I miss anything? I don't think you did. Uh, <laughs> I, I just kind of went with it. I'm excited though. I'm ready to get into it. Are you? Cool. I've been able to survive this long. I know I have what it takes. So good. This music is like, yeah, it's like a fight song. Do you think we're going to see Nezuko at all during the fight? Or do you think she's outside until I end? wonder if it's become later in the day. I mean, she's probably oh. been out in that box for a while. So I feel like time of day, she might break into the mansion and like run around looking for Tanjiro. <laughs> it looks like he's protecting Nezuko in that shot. Zenitsu. I'm so ready for them to meet. I feel like it's going to be so funny. <laughs> hmm. Something more important than life. Friendship. Nezuko. Nezuko and friendship. I just hope he's safe. He cares about Tanjiro. Or are we just going around and around in circles? I knew it. I was getting <laughs> <laughs> You got to start marking the walls. Oh. They were about to see. They were about to reunite. Did they actually so go outside. outside? That's probably how the one guy that died got outside. Oh. It's kind of nauseating. It is. Imagine how Tanjiro feels. I'm sure very nauseous. Oh, and he's still hurt. Even with my body in this condition. For a battle, this is really freaking fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, like, the the abilities add so many cool elements. More than just determination. Calm down. Dang. To think things through. <sighs> oh, man. I need to consume some Marechi before it's too late. Before it's too late. Before Muzan decides to not keep him alive. <laughs> maybe maybe it's like a timer yeah it's that he needs to continuously consume blood your name it's kyogai kyogai, kyogai. i won't bend to you it's futile why was he why is he sweating is he tired too or is he just scared of muzan that visual is so cool too whoa damn i wonder if it's like super exhausting for him to hit those drums yeah it like uses his power but it looks like he's going through something as well. This is so boring. Is this when he was human? This was his house when he was human. Oh my god. Word on these pages is, utterly trite. 
is this the first time we've seen a demon not on the verge of death recalling this kind of thing yes it seems to be like a when they're dying they think about their past He was losing faith in himself. Wait. What? Excuse what? Huh? Is that him just slashing the memory or did was he actually a demon and trying to live a normal and life? And trying to live a normal life. Oh my god. Super disorienting. Me too, man. <laughs> terrifying skill. Honestly. Really terrifying. Now he's using five paws instead of three. Whoa. I feel like this demon's desperate energy is going to be his <gasps> downfall. He's avoiding the writing. The oh claw my. marks also avoided ripping the paper. Take quick, shallow breaths. There's a strong scent of mold. Huh. Damn. He's evading all of my attacks. Total concentration. Water breathing. Whoa. Whoa. Nice form. Splashing water flow. Turbulent. Is he Turbulent? using the mold? It's like he's using the water as footing almost. There's the thread. Oh! Oh my God! That'll be a good one, cause he was a part of the Twelve Kizuki. Yeah. Whoa, that's badass. Okay, wait. When did he get that? I'm sure from Lady Tomoyo. But that's really freaking cool. Oh, Yushiro gave it to him. Oh, huh. Hello. Is that Yushiro? Good kitty. A calico. Did the kitty just show up? Yeah. <laughs> that's <Aww. pretty> amazing. <laughs> Is it a real cat that he's turned into the messenger? And he didn't even know. Or did he have a sense, maybe? I feel like it might almost be kind of like an honor for a demon to die by Tanjiro. And my drum plays. Help me recognize. Oh my gosh. It really feels like they're at peace when they go. Yeah. Or they're not mad anymore. They're not fighting anymore. The aggression is gone from being a demon. He didn't say his name. Huh. Oh, because he died. All of them are safe, right? All yeah. of the siblings. Hopefully. Zenitsu protected the middle brother. I think so. Where's Boar Man? He's going to pop up somewhere. You think he's going to want to fight Tanjiro? Yes. I smell blood. What's the matter? Nothing. What's going to be wrong when Zenitsu? they get out there? Oh! oh. <gasps> He's protecting Nezuko and he doesn't even know Nezuko's in there. The box. I protected it. You told me this was more important to you than your own life. Oh. He's such a good boy too. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Could he hear that there was someone in there in the box? these odd sounding loud footsteps oh no the boar head he fell from the second story window ouch Sheesh. did he really Zenitsu's <laughs> <laughs> the best boy I know I fell right onto my head didn't I yes <laughs> I'm coming through oh no why does he go after the box 
It sounded like he wanted to fight Zenitsu. Oh. How oh, can no. he sense demons? He's the fifth survivor. And the first to come back down. Oh, he just beat everybody there. Mr. Impatient. It's a good name for him. Oh my god. How oh is he God. allowed to become a demon slayer if he's trying to fight his own core? I won't let you touch it. I don't know what's inside, but I know that it's precious to Tanjiro. There's a demon in that box. Don't you get that? It's a demon slayer's job, right? At all cost. He's known that from the very start. This is the sound demons make. Not anything like a human. Oh my God. He never cared. And when he meets Nezuko, he'll be like, oh my gosh, she's beautiful and cute and sweet. I've never heard anything like it before. It's hard to tell what kind of thoughts are going through someone's head. Huh. Even so, I've been deceived by others many times. <laughs> just girls. Just, just women. <laughs> Tanjiro, despite being a demon slayer, is traveling with a demon. I'm sure he has a good reason for doing so. Wow. I love this development for Zenitsu. It... Damn. Do you see the contrast to what Zenitsu, like, was uh, two episodes ago? Stay away from him. He just threw him! He's so loyal. Knock, like, knock him out. I'm sick of this dude. Oh my god, is gonna... He's tired, but he needs to... Knock this guy oh, out. Oh, he's for so a second. angry. If all you're gonna do is keep me from doing my job, then you leave no choice but to take you out alone with that box. Whew. Is this gonna be the next episode? Oh my god, I don't wanna wait. <laughs> I I feel like I'm gonna like that guy. But right now, I really don't. don't like him. We have no, there's no redeeming quality about him right now. Like, what's the point in killing other demon slayers? What is the point in attacking other humans? I don't understand why he was allowed to, other than his strength, become a demon slayer. It seems it is, like the only prerequisite to become a demon slayer is, is, just kill demons? is strength and ability and to eliminate demons. And this guy has that. We don't know his past, but... But they're an organization. You have to have some rules and control. That's a good question. I wonder if there are rules, like, if you are... It's they... illegal to kill another yeah, demon slayer. or if they have, like, a disciplinary system. Yeah, that's such a good... Uh, I'm gonna... Huh, that's so cool. I just, I want to like him. I feel like I'm going to... But right now, I think he's the worst thing ever. And he's worse than the demons, in my mind. We're going to be crying for him in like two episodes. We totally are going to be like, <laughs> oh my god, we love him. And we're going to be crying just like we are for Zenitsu. Any Taisho era secrets for us? <laughs> Please. Probably. That makes sense. Okay, what is it? If any of our subscribers know what the Legend of the Eight Legend Hounds of the is, Eight Hounds is, please, uh, please let us know. We we would like to know because I liked Kyo Guy the demon. Yeah, I liked. I him, did too. And I feel like he probably was actually a good writer. And whoever that guy was talking to him sucks. That's my opinion. To the review. All right, that was Demon Slayer Season 1, Episode 13. Oh, that was a great episode. Great. I feel like I could have had a solid episode or two more with Kyogai. Mm. Not like this was great and, fuck and so satisfying and I loved it. I, I just loved his character so much and seeing him interact with Muzan, like I, I wanted to know more about his backstory. He seemed like such an interesting character. Also, his demon art was 
so fun. I mean, like, I'm sure if we were really there and we were Demon Slayers, it would not be fun. But it was fun to watch. It was impressive. Big challenge. But Tanjiro was a big thinker and thought of what to do. And then he also respected the demon, as he always does. And in my mind, if I was a demon and had been turned without my permission, I think that would be the way that I would want to go. I really enjoyed Tanjiro's like, finishing move. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was like a visual spectacle as the move was turning, the water was, and he was jumping on each like piece of it. It, looked, it visually looked like. Uh, we learned that the boar head or Mr. Impatient was one of the five people who became a demon slayer that day. And he just finished before everybody else. And I guess he was so impatient. Kind of like the guy with the scar was really impatient, but I guess boar heads worse. Cause wasn't he like, he was beating up the little girls with the haircuts cause he wanted yeah. his ore. But I guess this guy was like 5,000 times worse. So they were like, okay, just take it. So I'm confused though. So we saw them at the D- at at the final selection right. afterwards mm-hmm. when the seven days were up. Yeah. Does that mean the seven days were up for Mr. Impatient and he just got there quicker? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think so. It seemed like everybody else was dead tired getting there and maybe Mr. Impatient just like had that energy. Does that mean he's on a level above what like Tanjiro is and Maybe. Zenitsu? I think he's kind of just like a wild man, like kind of animalistic. Yeah, so for sure. he probably just has a lot of stamina. I um I mean, we didn't see him. Like remember how at the beginning when Tanjiro climbed the mountain and he got to the final selection, they showed us kind of up close the mm-hmm. the characters of interest. Um, as is done a lot in anime. It's like, hey, there's a guy with orange hair. He's going to be important yeah. in the crowd. Um, they showed us that, but I'm like, did he not have a boar head on? And we didn't know. And he was there in the crowd. So now I'm like, Good what's question. he going to look like? Is that what he looks like? I don't know. I feel like once we find out those answers, I'm going to want to go back to, yeah, the, for sure. to the beginning of the selection and see if he is there. That's an awesome, huh? Now I'm super interested in that. I want to know what he looks like. I wonder if we're going to find out like soon. Probably I wonder... next episode. <laughs> I, uh, when Tanjiro punches him because he's so mad. Tanjiro is dead tired and he's hurt. Do you think he'll be able to like, you know, go He has to. I thought to myself, oh, well, if he let Nezuko out, Nezuko could help him fight. But I'm sun. like, that would not prove any good point. Plus the sun's out. Yes, the sun is out. But also I feel like that would not lead to a destination of Boarhead being okay with Nezuko being alive if she were to fight him or would have she? would she fight him no she she'd probably see him as family, like right? a little brother i'm sure it's going to be like a yushiro and she's just going to be like and suddenly he's going to be like okay maybe she's not that bad <laughs> <laughs> demons are can be cool i guess <laughs> talk about a redeeming character zenitsu Oh my gosh, yeah. that he really connected with Tanjiro to the point of Tanjiro looked like for an instant saw him directly as family, like mm-hmm. him getting beat up and him bleeding. He had that correlation to seeing his and bloodied family. And had already had that with Tanjiro. I mean, like the last two or so episodes, we were really more in like almost like Zenitsu was the protagonist, like he was the main character. So we were really seeing how he felt and how he feels about other people, especially people that he believes are innocent or kind. Um, And just to learn that he was like so multi-leveled to the fact that he knew that whole time that Tondro had a secret and that it was a demon related secret. And he just respected it and still trusted Tondro. Based on the sound of his vibration. Yeah. I just, I love that. I I feel like he went from being this, what looked like this sniveling coward to this like amazing boy that you just want to hug. Yeah. I, he was, he was like worried about death over everything, Mm -hmm. but he literally, he didn't care. He did not think of the consequence. All he thought about was doing what was right in his mind. Isn't that interesting that he's so worried about death in 
unless it's in regards to someone else yeah to be protected it's always like if he put himself in danger's way then he's like ah oh, but if it's like someone else is threatened it's it's a different level for him i had said something the other episode that like it takes more courage if you're if you're like that I, i'm like i felt so much when he was defending nezuko's box there like it felt like because i knew a couple episodes of what zenitsu was like seeing him act that way was like such like a greater payoff to me and probably why it was so much more painful to see him being beat up yeah they showed that clip two times and two i know times it, it was me. heartbreaking i'm like yeah. <laughs> please don't show me this again i already hate this boarhead guy because of this like if you show it to me one more time I am never going to forgive him. <laughs> Whew. I'm excited for next episode. Yes, next episode. I hope that we get that redeeming moment with Boarhead, which doesn't make us hate him for the rest of the show, for being a bully. Hopefully we get that. And I hope Nezuko gets to come out of her box because she's been in there for a while and we haven't gotten to see her for a few episodes now. And we need some Nezuko. Yes. Nezuko is not only gonna friend zone Zenitsu, she's gonna family zone him. And I feel bad for him ahead of time. I know, ahead of time. <laughs> I'm like, part of me's hoping that she doesn't brother zone him. It's inevitable. Because I feel like they'd be so good together. <laughs> okay, I, I'm a little protective of her, so I don't know about that. But like, that. they both get strength from sleeping. Zenitsu's a <laughs> That's true, heart. that's true. The parallels. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe Can you marry a demon? Is that legal in this world? Maybe. I mean, no one has to know. Muzan was married. The th the thought about a disciplinary system potential potentially. I, I like that. And thought. rules between like interfighting of demon slayers, or if it's just kind of like you go do whatever you want. I mean, they aren't recognized by the government, but that doesn't mean they don't have their own kind of system of yeah. government. A uh, government in in the demon slayer core. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like they kind of need to have that. I mean, they're very high risk, high energy jobs yeah. that they're in. And they do need all of the demon slayers that are strong that they can get. Because obviously Muzan is working very hard at making sure really strong demons exist to kill more people. Yeah. So I feel like they wouldn't want someone to be a part of the organization that was killing fellow strong very strong i mean obviously we learned that zenitsu is freaking amazing just like tanjiro i mean maybe not as strong as tanjiro i don't really know what their levels of strength are yet it's very hard <laughs> to like uh power scale that yeah that we don't know said, the power scale zenitsu's like the way that the speed was shown and the attack yeah was so cool well, thank right. you for joining us. <laughs> thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of this episode. Until next time.